What do you mean? Allowed, elaborate. I can't, I can't say it no simpler. I mean, but why do guy, guys... Girls give Rick Ross vagina sure. for what? Money, most likely. Money, so, so attention, look, lock now, them down. Now that, now that that truth has been told, right? I think it shows distaste to talk about your lifeline. I ain't dating you unless you got kids. You got to have one, maybe two, two, you know, because for one, everybody's for one. But I just like women that have kids. And somebody asked me on uh, Instagram, why they got to have kids? Because women with kids have structure. They have discipline because they have kids, you know, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, women that don't have kids, they never have snacks in the pantry. Did y'all hear about this lady that got fired? I think she's like a kindergarten teacher for what she said in Nashville on a girl's trip. Baby, I had to find this video. Baby, hold on. Let me play the clip real quick. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you gotta give him that hook. Spit on that thing. Hey. 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 I'm ready now. You ready over there? I'm always ready. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> hey, man. You ready over there? Right, listen, y'all see me? I got the shade. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Look, super ready. What is TJ hiding over there? I'm, yeah. I'm over there like Stevie. <laughs> I'm like Stevie, you can't see me. That boy fired over there, boy. This John Podcast. This John Podcast. This John. God we damn. Building. Another Tuesday, man. We are back. Welcome we back, guys. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. Welcome back. That that that, that welcome back. Connor. Yeah, welcome back. Show. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, Cotter. <Carter>, <laughs> yeah, man. That's it. That was a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was. This is your podcast, but we here another Tuesday. Goddamn. Number two. Yeah, man. man. Got my beer in my hand. Oh, wait, man. I don't want to. They ain't giving out no sponsorships. Right. So I don't want to show no names, nothing like that. But I got to take a sip right here. Yeah. Today is the 15 year anniversary of the passing of the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Shall we, shall we get some clap? She's yeah, back. let's show it up. Let's, let's show some love yeah. to the king of pop. Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> There we go, man. It's going to be a hot you know one. Today. It's a hot one every week. Hey, you know how it is, man. <laughs> this is your podcast, baby. Listen. Yeah. Welcome to the show, man. As usual, we've got uh, five viral videos to react to. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some laughs. We're going to crack some jokes. And we're going to do the damn thing as usual. Sit back. Enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. Go ahead with your five dollar. Go ahead. Sit look your at, five dollar you, ass down before we make change. <laughs> he had to look at me. And we ain't talking about you. We not talking about you. I know you not. <laughs> yeah, you know how she is. I ain't yeah, no five dollars. I told you, I ain't no five dollars. <laughs> yeah, not you. <laughs> oh man. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, man, are we ready, man? Are we ready? I trained y'all well, heaven. Oh, oh God, man. Here she is. See. There she goes. The disrespect just just comes That's oozing out. They can't even help it. You just know like I a be black woman. Playing with y'all, come on now. Stop you it. gonna start a segment? It's called "Just Like a Black Woman." We gonna start that. Just like a black woman. Fall. Coming in the fall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Shall we go to the first video? I'm we ready. Go. Let's go. Are we ready? We ready over there? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm always Steady, ready. are you ready? Steady, oh. are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Whoa. What's, what's going, going on? on? Tell me what's going on. <laughs> All right, so listen, first video, man. With Corey Holcomb says he can't stand a state Hold up, wait a minute, bond. wait a minute, wait a what? minute. What? What? What is your name? What you, what you missing? Listen, let me tell you something. If they don't know the names by now, man. Hey, but what about when the people they know, know they, they ain't no fans that know the names by now. Time. You got to think about... People that's joining for Shout the out first to our new, listen, man, our they new better listeners, catch up. Our new viewers, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, they Shout better catch up. I got, I got to keep these guys in check over here. The, for you, we gonna drop Look. the names. We gonna drop names because I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm ready to dive right into the motherfucking oh, okay. video. You know I'm about you know to mean? dive in. Yeah, all right, Lost the oh, Dark Gable. <laughs> Listen. Then I got over here. Look at here. <laughs> Y'all already know. Haters. Haters. I got Haters. CJ over here. Y'all already know the one hand bandit. <laughs> uh, it's your boy CJ. Hey. I do a lot, but I never do the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was uh, he was popping it too much. Yeah. <laughs> this is my left hand. I'm right handed. And then. 
over over it's here it's you know we got over here you know what they say we got our sis over here they say you know what they say you say no, the best for last honey dip say it in spanish yeah. building stop it oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that in spanish yet uh, but you know what just because y'all said something i'm gonna make sure i know about next week <laughs> all right man get it together god damn it get it together was honey dip tea all right so now are we ready to go to the first video because i'm ready <laughs> I'm excited. Well, that I'm ready. Like that was just too much for you. Okay, you know what? Go ahead. We ready. Can Better I go? number one. Uno. Can I go? Mm-hmm. Premature ejaculation. Can I go? Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I let it out? <laughs> Whoa. Ah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This joint at the dark. <laughs> Follow us on Patreon. Look, <laughs> right. As y'all see, he's starting this week. I ain't even get a chance to start yet. He started it. <laughs> I'ma start before you start. Just let me I'ma start and finish before you start. Just make sure you know how to finish, because I know how to finish every time yeah. come when i come or come when i come back that's <laughs> <laughs> spicy yeah, first five yeah, i mean minutes. i don't play around <laughs> god damn it yeah oh, man yeah. i'm <laughs> wiping off and wiping down mm. wipe me down <laughs> <laughs> all right first video so look Corey holcomb says he can't send a state sponsored bum Damn. Dang. <laughs> Corey was a state sponsor. <laughs> oh, state sponsor. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> now Corey is talking about what's um Rick Ross baby mom. What's that? Tia uh, Kemp. Tia Kemp. You know it, listen, well, you know who Tia Kemp is? We just discussed this. No, we didn't. It doesn't matter. We ain't talking about what you talking about. That's how that's how I got talked to them women. <laughs> God, especially them black women. It's called respect. Yeah, I mean, they like it when you're aggressive. Put some respect on my name. Yeah, whatever. K. It's like, I'm just playing, y'all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut! It's the show podcast. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. What do you mean? Hello, elaborate. I can't, I can't say it no simpler. I mean, but why the guy, guy? Girls give Rick Ross vagina sure. for what? Money, most likely money, so, so look, attention, lock now, them down. Now that now that that truth has been told, right? I think it shows distaste to talk about your lifeline. Yeah. Do this whole get money coming from anywhere else? Does the woman have money? Her source of income is Rick Ross, right? I was just gonna say that it is connect. That's the connection. I mean, that's probably how she got the pot. And now that the money might be running out, she talking crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, she is. For us men who are smart, we know that's an ain't shit bitch. We know that woman ain't hitting on nothing. I know you ate because of that man. And because he said something, you finna go on a schmear campaign because you finished. Is this the woman that 50 Cent flew in? You talking crazy about this man who gave what you gave. You gave something that you say you ain't a hooker. I'm not charging for it. Yeah, you use the system to indirectly charge somebody mm -hmm. to sleep with you. I have no respect for the woman that is talking crazy about her only Definitely main source of income throughout these years of her life. Stop it. I could go on with Rick Ross, him having kids by these women. Okay, that's what happened when you healthy enough to have kids. You know, I'm just peeping his shirt. Does this his shirt say shut up, bitch? Probably so. You know, that's Corey. You know, look, look ah. before, before I let y'all go in, I just want to say I had ran across her, um, one of her her videos because I didn't know who she was, mm. and then the algorithm has sent it to me. So I, I looked at the video, which was my mistake because now every one of her videos is bashing Rick Raw. Like this this bro is really she doing obsessed. It. She's probably Man. Like because now at this point it's like okay, if she got to put her name and her face out there, how about she gonna get money if she ain't getting no more child support? Yeah, but yo, it makes no fucking sense, man. I mean, to me, it, it really makes you look crazy and, and insecure. Yeah, but somebody's probably going to like it because, you know, now these days, everybody like negativity. Negativity spreads faster and makes more money in, in sex than anything positive. So she somebody going she going to get somebody's attention. Yeah, yeah, apparently she is. Apparently she is. What you got to say, bro? I mean, listen, at the end of the day, 
it comes with the territory. Rick Ross is, you know, one of the bigger figures in hip hop, especially in our in black culture. So yeah, she probably been calculating over the years that money about to dry. I don't know how old <laughs> money their, about to dry up. Yeah, I don't know how old their kid is, but I'm he, pretty sure he's probably the he, kid is 17. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, he probably so got her, less than a year. Yep. Her, 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 yep. That you know how the uh, emergency broadcast system just <laughs> cut off your TV. <laughs> that thing going off on her phone every three days. Yeah. Listen, you got about 13 weeks left. Yeah. Cause it's about to get dark for you. <laughs> and I know her the child's hot. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure her child's a payment. Her child support payments is in the. 20, 30, 40,000 dollar range a month. Mm-hmm. Look, if oh, she was yeah. smart, she could have invested that throughout the years. Come on. Come, saved it, come, did come something. On. Stop. First Stop. of all, gets had some kind of job, some kind of background. Stop. I, I, look, look Stop. Maybe that, that's too much like right. Too that's much way like right. Too much like too much. Like I right. seen her, she was on there trying to uh she was in the studio making a rap. Girl, you are 49 years old. Oh I don't know gosh. how old she is, but you obviously old. Because Rick Ross in his 40s. Did she look it. Oh, you, shit. Damn. You can't be in your 40s making your first wreck. Like, stop. <laughs> Just doing anything. Like, at the end of the day. Hey. Yeah. If she, she wasn't, a, if she wasn't talking so negative about Rick Ross, maybe he might pick her up as an artist. No, nah, that was, ain't never If she that. was. <laughs> that ain't never happened. <laughs> Again, at the end of the day, you should have managed your money. Because after right. that last check, he probably going to deliver it to her house <laughs> himself. Guess what? You ain't never. You could lose my phone number, everything. Kid old now. I ain't even got to talk to you. Exactly. Bye bye. Yep. He yeah. could just do whatever he want with the child. He don't, she don't even have to be in the middle. Well, yeah, isn't that true? So look, let's go to the first comment. <laughs> so first comment say facts. Tia Kemp is dusty and bitter. Wow. Don't know about the dusty part, but the bitter part is definitely true. You're salty that that yeah. man still. You probably didn't even think his but his career was going to last this long. Was she dusty before she started getting his money though? That's I the question. Know. I have no clue. But she she probably didn't think that he was going to still be up like this. Right. You know he's one of the bigger. I say he's top five biggest figures in yeah. especially money wise. Right. When it comes to the culture, yeah. Sure. So yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure she didn't think that he was going to be here. And now you know that that your lifestyle about to change unless you do OnlyFans or. Come up with some kind of investments or something. Because think about it, I mean, actually, she, I don't want to say she came out of nowhere, but it seemed the videos just started coming and coming. Yeah, of course. Probably when he turned 17 years old. And that's that's the what video. I'm saying. They she were coming left to, and look, right she now. She's just dropping them joints every day. She got to develop some kind of consistency for herself. Because at this point, if nobody knew who she was, you know, hey, hey, Jaleel. Jaleel is in the building. He said, good evening, folks. Oh, man, we got El Boogie in the building. Let me give El Boogie some yeah, shout yeah. out. El What's Boogie up? in the building. What's up, buddy? What's good, bro? Ski. And that's the thing. Like, she probably, all these years, sitting back, you know, going on vacations and living the life of a, a baby, a rapper baby mama and mm-hmm. wasn't preparing. But right. guess what? Them checks are going to stop one day. And see, and whether it's Rick Ross or anybody else, you got to think about it. And this goes for any other woman that whether it's they have a rich baby daddy or not. If you're getting them child support checks, once that child turn 18, what are you going to do? Because at the <laughs> end of the day, if you get in that child support and that that public assistance, what makes you think it's not going to stop? So start preparing yourself or just already work or do something for yourself and not rely on the state in the system yeah, and your lot, baby dad. A lot of them they don't think like that. And like that's crazy. And the crazy like the crazy thing for me is like my oldest son is 10 years old. He'd be 11 in December. And I just looked at a picture sitting at my at my desk the other day and it was a picture he was like 3. And I'm like, "Damn. Damn that 10 Damn years blue. already?" So, like, you wasn't probably thinking that that 17, 18 years was going to go by fast. Right. And you was living a life, living it up, champagne, bottle popping and all that. And now, ooh, I want to know what's, what, what's her last month. I'm telling mm. you, whatever her last month of uh, child support payments <laughs> is, the video is going to be every three days, three minutes. <laughs> She's going to she gonna have 40,000 uh, videos that last month. Because she trying to get her content creation on so she can keep up the money. Because that, if it's September, ooh, October, she okay. going to be stressing. Everyone's coming. So, comment number two says, exactly, most of her followers are bitter and toxic females just like her. I agree. If you're if you're not the bitter type and of, broke, they if you're all not bitter the, and broke. If you're not the type of female like her, you wouldn't like like what she be doing. Like she just she's too old for her content. Like she's doing content that a twenty year old, twenty two year old should be doing. Yeah. So which if, you make if, any that sense. You, if you ain't that type of person, 
unless you immature. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna mm-hmm. like the content. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. ridiculous. What about, what about you with it? Have you uh, have you ever been bitter like that? Not at all. Let me tell you something. There's one thing my baby daddies can say. Yeah, like I have a baby daddy. He was like, "Damn, you the best baby mama I ever had." <laughs> Damn. Look, let me tell you something. I don't do. I don't deal with the courts for child support. I don't deal with the courts for no custody. Whether you want to help and support this child or not, at the end of the day, yeah. they are going to be taken yeah. care of. None of my none of my kids' dads was in child support at all. I took care of all my kids because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not relying mm-hmm. on the state to force you to take care of this take child of that we yeah. made together. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm going to make it work. You gotta figure if you don't want to take care of your kid, then look, you know what? what? That's on you. I don't. I'd, I'd rather you not be around. And bring your negative energy around my child as opposed to you feeling like you're forced to something that we both did. So at the end of the day, if you don't want to, I'm not forcing it. Well, can we can about. we put a curriculum together so we can start a master class? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start teaching these women around the world. We'd be millionaires Man. by like uh-huh. November. Man. So look, comment number three says <laughs> all he said was child support was over and she went crazy. <laughs> like he said her name, then said, I don't care. <laughs> Well then, oh, then I guess he's eighteen. Oh no, we, I'm about to look it up. Yeah, find out. Yeah, because yeah, I yeah. know he probably the way Rick Ross, the money he got, he probably said, "Oh, how many payments I got left?" You said one hundred twenty thousand. Oh, I got that in the safe. I'm about to get this uh, and I'm done. Right. Now, you know, now I wonder. I think he was damn near paying almost forty grand a month. I believe. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That is ridiculous. Yeah, forty. A kid came. And, but you know what the sad part you can't about that? Spend forty grand. Okay. But you know what? Would you you know what the problem is with a lot of with a lot of these women? They get that child support. They don't spend it on the kids. They spend it on themselves. So now yeah. her whole lifestyle is about to go up in in its shambles because well, you know she don't have this money no more. You know what? Something like that that happened to uh, Fifty Cent Baby Mom. Ridiculous. Where she wasn't take take taking care of the money or spending money on Fifty's. Um, his son. his son and it is it's a whole bitter battle but hey you know what you know that's rich man problems i ain't gonna lie i wouldn't mind having those problems <laughs> you, know, you know what that's not just rich man problems that's men problems a lot of men go through that that, that yeah, that's but i'm telling you right court, now listen they get taken to court for child support there's if, so many men that i know that feel like they can't live the life that they want because they're paying this child support to these women and so now they're kind of sort of forced to live in these situationships and live off these mm-hmm. women because half or if not more than their checks is going to these kids because these women is lying some some oh yeah i got this expense and that expense mm-hmm. and it's like and it's just sad because now you got these men that can't really do nothing for themselves yeah you know what let's, let's get the tea over here y'all get the tea over there. you heard the woman <laughs> What'd you find out? What'd you find out, bro? You find I out? couldn't find hers. I, I know it said that he, uh, the, the girl, the other girl, he got kids by. He's paying eleven thousand a month. So Damn. think about eleven thousand for Ooh. that for for those kids. And that's chump change for him. No, oh, yeah, he probably makes that in two weeks. Maybe a, no, yeah. he probably makes that in three days. Two yeah, days. Well, hey, listen, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what you think, and subscribe if you already did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. tell them again. God damn it! Subscribe, subscribe. You heard the woman. <laughs> video number two. Number two. Slide in video number, number two. two. So video number two. Let me hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Let me make sure I got this set because I don't want this woman oh, Lord. getting on me. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got this set, but you you know how she is. She got a nasty attitude and everything. I do not. Don't be putting that out there about me. I do not have a nasty attitude. My name is Honey Dip Tea, and my attitude is sweet like my name. Oh, I'm sorry, we weren't listening. Were you? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. <laughs> yeah, hey. Yes, right, you were. So, video number two. He says to never move in to a woman's house. Not a never. Uh, he never. Says not not a never. Never. Not never. Never. Never move into a never. woman's house. <laughs> yeah, hey, we're peanuts. It's this don't do it. <laughs> Let's go. Never move into a woman's house. You will regret. About 10 years ago, I had to learn this the hard way. And boy, never again. At the beginning, it always used to be a joke. You know, the get out of my house. And you just, you know, you kind of laugh it off because it's funny, right? Until one day we had a disagreement. And then she said, get out of my house. Me, like an idiot, I thought, oh, she's just joking. And she just went, get out of my house. I was like, Pfft. and because my name wasn't on the lease, I had no choice. I had to leave. Overnight bag and everything. 
But the next day she called me and said, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't really mean it. You can come back. Which I did because <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. But best believe I spent the next two weeks looking for my own place. But check this, me looking for an apartment actually caused us to break up because she thought I had commitment issues. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? Easy. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know so funny when, when I don't want to say me and my wife broke up because I'm going dead at that hoe. <laughs> when, no, I have mercy. When I, I, no, yeah. Don't call her no hoe. No. No. Shots fired. No. Give, yeah, shots fired. <laughs> God damn no. okay. Mercy. When I left that motherfucking hoe. Um, oh my God. <laughs> the, mo the motherfucking rent was due at the time I left. <sighs> So, you know, so, you know, yeah, she was all sad. And yeah, I don't give a fuck. I would right at the bar. I strategically <laughs> left at the end of the month. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Kiss petty. my black ass. So petty, so petty. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, Richard Petty. Yeah. Uh, petty, Petty Tendergrass. Look, petty Murphy. Oh, man, petty Murphy. <laughs> petty A lot Watt. of y'all women is not going to agree with me. Y'all probably going to hate me, but I agree with the men on this one. Um, I got to honestly say, I know women that abuse that whole situation where if you have yeah. a house or apartment and they use it as a sense of control. So, and they manipulate you and then they feel like, okay, well, look, you need me. No, but let the, let the roles, you know, reverse at some point. And then these women going to really realize, okay, you know what? Damn, he just kicked me out of his house. Where am I going to go? That's not cool because at the end of the day, he's still a human being. He still needs a roof over his, his head. And if y'all made that agreement for him to live there, that's not cool to just kick him out whenever you feel like it. So that like I said, you heard the woman, I know the it. women is not going to like me today, yeah. but it's the truth. Listen, uh, let me tell you, look, I had a situation where me and my girlfriend at the time, we went to, I don't know, like a Best Buy or something. She wanted to get a new TV, right? So this was her thing. She wanted to get a new TV. I'm like, all right. She was paying for it. But I know that when you go into those stores, if you don't know what you're talking about, them people will hustle you to buy something that you really don't need. <laughs> so I'm in there. I'm talking to the salespeople. They trying to get us to buy this Samsung TV, TV 3500. I'm like, we do not need no 35. But the whole time I keep saying, oh, she's getting the TV. She wants a certain size. I kept saying she, she, she. To let the salesman know, like, this ain't my TV. Oh, no, nah, they're going to come dead at you regardless. So we talk. I'm, she see me talking to the guy. We He starts showing her the TVs or whatever. He walk away. She turns and says, I mean, why are you having all this conversation for, uh, with him for? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm the one buying the TV. Oh, shit. I said, I know you buying she the TV. Dead at your neck, I said, I know you buying the TV. I've been telling him that this is she's buying it. Well, I just feel like you should just uh, just like fall back a little bit and, and let me get what I want. Oh, I said, wow. I'm cool with that, but I just Dang. don't want you to overpay for a TV. <laughs> she, you're you, trying to help her yeah. out. <laughs> she came From that man. moment on, I knew for a fact that not even just the TV, that house that she had bought, she, she was, when I first met her, like literally the week I met her, she was buying the mm -hmm. house. So it wasn't like it was a thing that we both set out to do. She was already doing this by herself. That moment I knew, okay, this is going to be different. So no, I was like, nope. She would be like, Oh, you coming over? I'm like, Yeah. All right, why don't you she why don't you just stay here and, and like live here with me? No, no, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> no, thank you. That was it. I was you, like, know, oh. you know, listen, before I go to the first comment, I I when I when I was living with this for this particular female, I'm not gonna say unstable her name. creature. You know, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna say her name because I mean we still we still let's we, not say her name. My grandmother was sick at the time. Okay. But so but she thought I was cheating. I was like, Oh, you gotta get out and and I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm So why cheating. did she think that? Like, I mean, you know, I've cheated in the past. Oh, okay. but <laughs> oh so basically she just didn't trust you. Oh, my but, God. At, but at that particular time, <laughs> I was I was up and up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me off of that. Judge me off the president. <laughs> Damn, say it again, goddammit. Don't judge me off the past. Judge me off the president. Really? I'm Wait, delivered. Why can't do now, both? But it wasn't that particular I'm time delivered. I was cheating. Not yeah, that I mean, but that, time. yeah, okay. yeah, it was it. Right, you know? Not that too. Come on, oh, now. not that two weeks, but hey. three weeks before that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my the past god! Is the past. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, 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 let's go to the first comment. So, first comment says, "Unfortunately, it works both ways." But so mm -hmm. you know, it, oh. off that comment, hold on. I want to ask T. Any of your girlfriends have ever been put out by a man? Hell no. Oh, um, I don't know no girl that ever went to go live with a man. 
See? Exactly. Because because it seems like mo most men don't. Well, you know, I'm sorry. Most women don't move in with men. And I can't, I, mean, I don't understand I that. Nine times I mean, are they homo, what is it, homo with homosexuals? I think, yeah. I think, you know what, and, and I'm just going to be honest. I think because majority of the time, the females that I know, they have houses. Yeah. And the guys that they know, they probably kind of like have apartments. So it's like, okay, I got a more stable situation than you. So, so you might, I don't you might know. move in. I don't, yeah, it could be. And, yeah. let's, and let's keep it, let's keep it funky. At the end of the day, there's a lot of women who get housing assistance so they can get houses earlier than men. At 22, I'm paying my own rent. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to say that, you know, it's a good or bad thing. It's just they have an option that most men don't have. You can go on, get low income. House. It don't even have to be Section 8. You can get low income housing or you can get some kind of single mother grant and all this stuff that well, that's they don't give the guys. Of the, probably the child. I would I would say I wouldn't want well, to, yeah, I wouldn't I don't, I don't sure. want you to think to, to yeah. you should discriminate that it's just women no, no. because I think it's for both but a lot of times what happens is what knocks the men out of the box when it comes to that is because the men are they grinding so custody. hard, right? They they men are grinding so hard. They got these kids, so now the men is making so much more money than the females. So now your income is way higher, or it looks way higher than the female. So don't think that so, men but, are not available, or those those grants and and stuff like that, or financial opportunities are not available to the men. But you just said it. They make so much money that they 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 uh. They uh, x they selves out. Right. So a, a lot of times, yeah, it's just like again, like at twenty one, a, a, a girl a, or even even something like uh, living together, like women, it'll be they'll have roommates and a guy like hey, it's rare that you see four guys living in a crib like we want our own thing so it's yeah, like see, I, it take, I need, our, I need it take us a little bit longer to get mm. there so my it just be a little bit different <laughs> yeah that's why you don't really see women living with men so it's we like, got a comment from jaleel it says any man that doesn't have his own house or his name on something is homeless homeless <laughs> one thousand percent homosexual yes what yeah, it, homosexual uh, right well, there. Wallow, shout out to wallow what he call him um Couch warriors. God damn. You're a couch warrior. Hey, couch look, warrior. Some, I, I know a lot of homosexuals. I know a oh I'm man. Sure do. man. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a whole bunch I'm of I'm about to start there. a whole hotel for homosexuals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean. But see, I used to be a homosexual, but I always had my own stash. You you You, you used tell to live me with me? other chicks? Huh. You used to live Back with other chicks? Yeah. No, I was raunchy. Oh Lord. Oh, Man, go from one house to the next. I'm saying you. Papa you leave, was a rolling stone. Was pistol Pete. Wherever I laid my <laughs> hand was my home. And uh, when he, wait, no, we they call him Pistol Pete. Yeah, yeah no yet. gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let me do what? Oh my god! But gosh. but let me tell you something. I always have my own spot too. Oh, so I, I mean, used to. Uh, man, that what? don't really apply then. If you had your own spot, if you doing both, because you always had your own then. Yeah, but they didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, look. Yeah, as as, get out. As long oh, as you leave, do. Bitch. Yeah, I, I just don't think that's cool. That's cool. The minute somebody say, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you got to go. <laughs> no, number two. Video number two. No, comment number two. Oh, no. Comment I'm sorry. Two. Comment number two. I find that an older fella living separately works better, much better. I'm going to be the Ain't first. Ain't wrong with that. I'm going to be the first one to tell you. If I ever get married, excuse me, I'm definitely going to have my own crib. Oh, a separate now, one from your wife? Yeah. yeah, yeah what do yeah. you think? <laughs> and so, listen. When when you getting on my damn nerves, <laughs> girl, I love you. I love what, you. What I about the, the man cave in the basement? I don't want that. I want the man mansion. <laughs> he want the man house. Man house. The I man want to be house with a address. I want to be able to lock you out. Oh Lord, so that mercy. when you are getting on my nerves, I listen. I can face you. Could be you want to be Facetime? Cool. You can see my face. I'm gonna have you on mute. I'm at my volume down. <laughs> he so you, said she gonna be. Because I want you to see I'm not cheating or doing nothing. I just want you to leave me well, alone. He, he like, I'm on me time. Yeah, I, I leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right? I got my own crib. Here's the address. No, you can't come in. But this is my space. I need my, my woosah moment. Yeah, so just, I, bring I'm a, some, just bring me some food. And I'm I'll a be proponent right. of that. Look, just tell her to bring you some food. Hey, That's it. No, nope, she ain't got to bring me nothing. I'm okay over here. I'm self-sufficient. So, so T, would you, would, would you date a man who, who had his own spot? I mean, of long course, term, what you mean? no, I'm talking about long, long, long term relationships. What do you, all right, clarify your question. Clarify? Yeah, clarify. All right. You're dating a man. Okay. I'm sorry. You're involved with the man going on three years. Okay. And you're like, you know what? We should make this. Hold on, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm pouring my. Oh, Lord. Wow. 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 I'm right talking there. tea. Yeah. And 
and y- y'all dating three or four years and you know what i mean you say listen i think we need to take this to another another level and he's like and he said yo i agree okay. but i'm not giving up my spot would you still of course because that? i mean at the end of the day i think the ultimate goal is to to combine things so if yeah. anything let's buy a house together you know, see, T said she's you know man, she hit it right on the fucking number, man. That's that's how I would think. Yeah, yeah let's buy a house together. Should. Like, it's nothing wrong with me staying at your house sometimes, you staying at my house sometimes, and we can continue to co mingle until we What's join it? as a union. Well, this but... is the same woman that says she's gonna traumatize his kids <laughs> by walking around the house naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can't traumatize her. <laughs> I did not say that. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> see. <laughs> See why I'm on spot? <laughs> you gonna have me with that foolishness. I never said I was gonna traumatize anybody. Yep. I said I used to do that. Yep. <laughs> oh no. If y'all could judge us off y'all our past, <laughs> we're gonna start judging y'all off y'all past. Yeah. What the look, hell? at least I admit it. I'm a woman enough to to admit that I used to do it. Look, look, and I had to realize like, all right, you know what, my son's is getting older, I gotta stop doing this. Oh my god. Wait, your son's is getting older, so you gonna stop walking around naked in other people's houses? No, I'm just saying that I used to do it at home. Oh, oh, well, you was one of those weird parents, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So, look. So, comment number three says <laughs> if he doesn't move into mine, I'm not moving into his. Well, guess we're living separate. We are living yeah. separate. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Shoot. I'm not but giving. Why any- does it have to be mine, his? Because if, if y'all just dating and mm-hmm. see, this is my thing. If y'all just dating and it's not really going nowhere and y'all not really making no long term goals. Ain't no way in the world that I'm even thinking about moving in with you. For what? The mm-hmm. only reason why I'm going to be thinking about us living together is because we're at a point where, okay, you know what? We're ele- elevating it to another level, meaning mm-hmm. not just dating, way beyond the whole dating. Like, okay, marriage type thing. Like, I'm not just moving in with you just because. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I think she's she just saying, like, at the point where y'all, you know, established a relationship. Hey, all right, cool. Uh, you keep me if you ain't moving you ain't moving in i ain't moving in we just gonna be separate so yeah i, think I mean that's but cool. that's fine i mean i'm good with that like i can still have my house you have your house i can spend a night at your house you spend a night at mine's like it's not changing anything yeah. it, it doesn't change or have any impact on the relationship at all whatsoever i just think that people but, people, but now if you want to take it farther and further and say, okay, well, listen, I think we should sell both our properties and and once once we get, get to a point property. that you're getting married, yeah. I'm not selling a goddamn thing. What 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 about renting your property? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I mean, rent I'll do that. I'm not selling a damn yeah, thing. Yeah, because it, nope, I'm not doing it. I mean, I've done it. And and, and the reason why I say I've done it before. Yeah. Like my whole my thing, ex had his house, I had my house, and when it was that time we was going to get a house together i mean and and that's my mindset like i've always been that way i mean and but then again it's like i'm not the the, the typical type of female that's out here in these streets oh yeah yeah trust, <laughs> yeah, trust me she not <laughs> she be looking for men with 17 inch necks ah, y'all, know, y'all know y'all know what that means if you got a 17 inch neck that means you can <laughs> you know, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can hold this position for a long oh time. Oh my God, really, really? That means you can sit on a footstool and, and, and neck be over the bed, yeah. and you're not stretching like the rest of us. And your neck, and you ain't got that crooked yeah. neck in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You can, oh, you God. know. Yeah, yeah. She be, she be looking for those type men. She looking for the guys that can uh, uh, dive deep and play PS Five at the same time. Dang. They ain't even got to do nothing. They just here with it. They got the controller in their hand. They knocking it out. Oh, y'all know what the hell I'm looking for. They like, yeah, multitask, motherfucker. Multitask. My man is very good at doing multiple things. Oh, man. She's like, yeah, he gonna eat this while he playing Donkey Kong. Oh, Lord, <laughs> anyway, anywho. Anywho. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell like, us what you comment, think. Subscribe. That's right, this your podcast, man. So we, so we at video number three? Number three. Video, video number three. three. Oh. Video number three. Do you look at Nightcap? No, I don't. What's that? <laughs> If it's gonna be, I know apocalypse. you look at nightcap, bro. Yes, if it be an apocalypse, you gonna be, you ain't even gonna know. It, oh lord, you about to pay attention? Yeah, I, we, I, don't, I don't know what we are gonna do with her, man. Is you, that a TV show? No, grandma. No, no. <laughs> it's um, it's a podcast. It's, it's po- oh, oh. Uncle Shay. You, you know, know, Uncle you know who Shannon Sharp is? is. Shannon Sharp. Yes, I know who that is. You know who Ocho Cinco is? Yes, Ocho. 
Well, they got they, they got, got a podcast, podcast called Nightcap. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, all yeah. right. So this is the next video we're gonna react to. Ojo tells Unk about the perks of dating a woman with kids. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, let's get at it. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. This is a good conversation because I ain't dating you unless you got kids. You mm-hmm. got to have one, maybe two, two, you know, because for one, everybody's for one. But I just like women that have kids. And somebody asked me on uh, Instagram why they got to have kids because women with kids have structure. They have discipline because they have kids, you know, you know, mm-hmm. and you know, women that don't have kids, they never have snacks in the pantry. I like to get up three, four in the morning and get a Capri Sun and steal some of the kids' snacks. And women that don't have kids don't never have no food, Unc. And you know what they always want to do? Go out and eat. But no kids always want to go out to eat and give looks like it's a goddamn fashion show. This ain't no motherfucking fashion show. I'm hungry. <laughs> three in the morning. Capri Sun. Do you, Unc, do you know what Capri Sun tastes like at three in the morning after a session? Nah, hopefully I'm sleeping at 3 a.m. Now you, you ain't hear me. Oh, as a session, you know, yes, man. I have a yeah, Ojo. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you something. I I ain't trying to be funny. Please tell me you had a honey bun in the microwave. Warm it up. Warm it up for twelve seconds. Nice and hot with a Capri Sun. No, no, a a, a zebra zebra cake. Oh, I love them zebra cakes. Yeah, I have zebra cakes. Uh, I don't like to eat after one of them sessions. I I I I just want something cool. Cause my heart beating real fast. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I understand. I, well, for me, for me, I purposely, first time, and I, I can tell you a story because, Chad, we family. I can tell you. I was dating a woman. She was about, I mean, I, I was probably 27 at the time. And she, she, you know, she had kids. You know, she mm-hmm. was uh, about 53. She was 53. I was 27, 20. Yeah, she was about 53. You no, know, I stayed at night and, you know, whatever. And it was time to go. She woke me up 3 in the morning and say. Uh, baby, you got to go. You know, you can't, you can't stay here. I say, what you mean? I say, you, you came here and, and you did your business and what you need to do. Now I'm going to give you a snack and a Capri Sun, but you got to go. I'm like, wait a minute. Like yeah. I I did the walk of shame with food. At least she let, she, she kicked me out with food. <laughs> now I felt bad, but at least she sent me home with something to eat and something on my yeah. stomach. Now a single woman, no food, no nothing. I'm just talking about my experiences. They want to go. They want to go eat. That's that. That's happened. That's happened. They, happen. they, they want to put that shit on. Yeah, what is the truth? Yeah, that's not talking about man. That's not talking about man. Oh, Joe. I mean, you know, you, you got they got they them women with them kids. Now listen, I'm snack sneaking. I do agree in certain ways because women with kids, norm women that with kids that they take care of. That's mm-hmm. a that's a caveat. Oh, damn, he went. He so went as there. As long as you're taking care of them, which most of them do, they got stuff to do. So they not gonna call me on random days at random times. Let's go to the rooftop, get some drinks, <laughs> bro. Now I don't have no problems with that, but consistently, like I am an entrepreneur, I have a real job also. I, a corporate job so i'm busy i don't have time to sit on the rooftop every two days i got stuff to do okay let's go to let's go to get some uh holla back hookah wednesday no no i got stuff to do oh, he said holla back hookah yeah, like, come on so like i do uh, understand i do agree like uh, some in my experience the women who ha- I've, I've dealt with that did not have kids they always wanted to do something and it's like, all right, I'm not saying that we got a Netflix because, and chill. Probably because they have that free time. I so. get it, but I, I'm not saying we got a Netflix and chill. We ain't got to go to my crib or your crib. But we could just go outside. We could go sit on the step and just right. bust it up or something. Or go to a park and, like, we, it ain't always got to be an extravaganza. You know, because it always seems that every time that you want to go do something, it, it, it comes down to you spending money. Yes. Right. Like, we can't just chill. It, it, right. it always has to be me just spending money but Tom, but and that see, shit this is tiring a, this is, sometimes you know what Nana, the women about to not like me again because to me spending time doesn't necessarily always mean spending money because but what that's about what it seems walk, to come to like you could just go to the park like and I know a lot of people know about how they do here in Philly down on Columbus Boulevard they be having the um the Spruce Street uh yeah, Harbor yeah. Yeah. Spruce Harbor park. yeah that Harbor stuff park. be down there free you can sit on like on the uh the cabanas and stuff like that like Come on. 
So everything, just spending time isn't always. And another thing is that sometimes meet the guy where he at. If you see he busy, you can, ladies, pay attention. You can spend time with him by helping him. If he's trying to, if he's busy, like let's just say CJ said, CJ just said he's an entrepreneur. If he's busy from work and being an entrepreneur, if you're trying to spend time with him, okay, what can I do to help you? Be of some Yeah, volume. you can you can come over here and meet me in this closet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> let, me, let me dick you down real quick. <laughs> and then and then go look, about your business. Look, that comes after the fact. <laughs> Here's my thing. I'm cool with spending money. I don't that's not an issue for me. But if you wanna if you always want me if you always want to do something that involves spending money, then you better be damn sure able to do something that helps me make money. Right. And that's where a lot of women, that's why they, that's where they fall off the cliff. You can tell me all the places, again, hookah Wednesdays, tequila Tuesdays and all this, but you can, and when do you have any value where you say, you know what? Yo, listen, oh, you do, uh, you write poetry? Well, listen, it's this app that... You can put your poetry up and people can buy it. Like it can be anything small. Yeah, but also but at the y'all, same y'all, time, you want to spend the money, but you never want to. Men you don't, have don't any always idea. have to be the one to spend the money, lady. Sometimes we can treat the guys too, or is that just too much? Like, right? No, we got Ty in the building. Yeah. Hey, like oh, Ty in the building. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And shout out to L Boogie. First, what L Boogie say? A yeah. lot of women with kids ain't got no structure in the home and got them badass <laughs> kids. That's number one. Yes. If you got if you got some badass kids, you shouldn't even be dating. Hey, look. Get your damn household together. Hey, look, you trying to walk around naked, a kid walking around naked. <laughs> you come sneaking in like, oh, I'm about to say, what the hell? Who, who is that? Oh, that's so my that's my son. Oh, uh, what the hell? <laughs> T.Y. said, she said, I had a guy constantly saying, hey, I'll help you with this when I come over. But the guys, the guys get accustomed to that. And now taking me out is not as important. He's like, damn, can I get a, a date or something? So, therefore, you was talking to his representative, T.Y. That's what that was. And after the that second time, him. and after the second time that, that man told him. you he was going to help you, he ain't help you, his ass should have never came right. back. Right. Yeah, 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 I mean. You got you to gotta learn who you're dealing with. That's all right. Shit, let me tell you something. Yeah, you said you constantly helping, but, like, therefore, at the end of the day, if you helping him, like, what are you helping him with? Because if you obviously see that he's not doing nothing for you or he's not meeting you halfway, you need to just let him go. And and, and if you constantly help him, do you see any evolution? Because there's difference between working and a hobby. And a lot of people mix them up. Oh, I got this mm-hmm. business. Oh, I got this business. I got this business. They tell you that all the time. Oh, I got this LLC. Yeah, just because you got an LLC, LLC don't mean you got a business. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you might have it on paper, but you don't actually have a business. You have a hobby. Because right. if you have a business, you work on it every day. Right. Every day I go home, I'm working on my business. Right. I'm not just saying, oh, I got I got this uh, real estate business. But you yeah, only do it on Tuesdays and Saturdays. No, no, no. no you, gotta you got a real estate something. business, but Look. you ain't real estate. You gotta do something, even if it's something little yeah. every day. Like, come on, like, I just be. It's like you gotta see it's evolution. A yeah, it's not, so, I'm not saying it's easy, but you gotta see right. what people gotta put in. Consistency is the key. Even with this mm-hmm. podcast, is we have to come here every week. We can't just say, oh yeah, you know, whatever. Business. We gotta come here and put the work in. Yeah, but y'all don't also see the work that gets done behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes, right? Yeah. Cause trust me, I, I I do the editing and I be butt naked. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> Wait a minute, I hope you don't be butt naked Whoa. in this chair that I'm sitting in. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Hey, hey, you want me to you, you you want me to tell you, or you want to figure it out for yourself? Listen, at the end of the day, it might be a new a new oh, work stream, Lord. a new stream of income. Yeah, but over there, but over there, over there, over there, talking about. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey, oh. hey, ladies, if you wanna, you know how they got. Oh, they ain't talking to this mic today. You, you know how they got hot yoga. Hey, Hey ladies, if you if you if you're a content creator and you want to do some butt naked editing, come oh over God. to Lucy's studio. <laughs> New stream of income. <laughs> New stream of income, goddamn. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean you tell you what they're talking about. <laughs> why does why does Mike smell so funny? <laughs> Huh. New income oh with a nice God. outcome. God damn it. New income with a nice outcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, let's go to the first comment. 
So the first comment says, me with no kids and no snacks. Oh, Dang, and, you, and you know what? What that mouth do? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no kids and no snacks. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, because I listen. I ain't gonna. I have stole a bunch of kids' snacks on Monday. I'm sure. Let's what? See. Hell I'm, yeah! The month the gummy bears. See, I never really. When I was younger, before before the, I the, had the 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 the, the, the juju fruits. <laughs> When I, before so I was, my thing, before I had because kids, everybody I didn't mess with eats different. Kids. Kids. So I'm the type of person like, like if I know you coming over, and I know what you eat, I'm gonna make sure I'm I'm gonna fill up with whatever you eat. So that way, when you here, you got something that you like to drink. You got a little bit of variety of that. You got a little bit of variety of the snacks. And you gonna have some food. Yeah, and I'm saying, listen, hey. baby, I'm going to eat that Gucci. Oh, <laughs> make sure I make sure my Gatorade nice and cold. <laughs> <laughs> he said I don't need nothing in the cabinets. <laughs> I, I, oh, you, I oh, ain't nothing in them cabinets. I said, girl, oh, you thought I said pantry? No, I said panties. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get them tacos ready. <laughs> yeah, hey, I need to get them sideways tacos ready. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next, so next comment. Next comment says Capri Suns at 3 a.m. after a session is wild. That is wild. Yeah, I don't I don't look, when you thirsty, you I don't drink want the, no goddamn shatter, Capri Sun. I'm a grown man. Okay? <laughs> look, get so, me a. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. I used to hide the snacks, my kids' snacks, in my room because they used to eat them. So, like, certain snacks especially with, yeah. when it was the snacks like they had to pack for lunch i would have in my closet and i had like a like a mini fridge in my closet okay. too so it would be times like that, that three o'clock when those juices start flowing oh my gosh i don't know what it is about me in the middle of the night but it's something about me in the middle of the night oh wait a minute i'm, t- I'm telling too much but <laughs> them little juices the night, she may wake up a little horny them so. little What's juices instagram? Look, oh my. look for them old white man you don't need to know why instagram i ain't on instagram <laughs> What's your Facebook? <laughs> I DM don't is about to be <laughs> <laughs> like pop, pop, popcorn. <laughs> oh gosh, look, them juices is the truth. Them snacks is like juices. You talking yeah. about? Look, both of them. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah, sure. right, okay. The warm look. juices and the cold juices. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Let oh, my Lord, this joint after the dark. congregation say amen. <laughs> uh, let's go. Next comment. This comment says, that's my baby's food and drink. Do not go in those cabinets. Well, you better have something for me then. Because I went over in them already. <laughs> oh, goodness Listen. gracious. Okay, if you don't want me to eat them um, them uh, Teddy Graham Graham Cracker John, you better have something in there for me. Okay? Or they getting to eat. Yeah. Pop tart, son. What? Let me tell you something, man. I'm taking them, kid. I don't give a fuck about your child. I'm a healthy eater. I, I go in the refrigerator. I want the grapes. <laughs> give me the grapes, and you know, I, you keep the teddy. You grapes. haven't always been like that, though. I'm pretty sure at some point you used to like them snacks. CJ. Oh, yeah. When listen, when I was younger, yeah, of course. It, it, I said, give me the teddy grams. They in here. Let me tell you, if if I go in your refrigerator and I see some shrimp snot, I'm eating. Oh, I'm eating. Yeah. Yo, he had I'm a whole eating. Meal. Yeah. What? Wait a minute. Yo, <laughs> eating the top ten. What? <laughs> I'm standing at Yo. the refrigerator oh, with the but, door open. But you got some tear in the Butt naked, yes. Fucking them jaws up. Yo, butt naked shrimp eating his wild. Yeah. <laughs> he like what? this with the swing out. <laughs> <laughs> swing with the I'm dipping in the marinara Yo. sauce and everything. Oh, Yo. It's something about eating out the refrigerator butt naked in the middle of the night, especially you know, when yeah. you know the kids ain't it's asleep. Captivating. Oh my god! I've never done you know that. <laughs> that's a different man. life. <laughs> that shit. Look, let, me, let me tell you, I've done some. I I, I killed this one girl. Her, her child snacks, and then I was trying to wash my mouth out in the sink because I ain't want her to smell the Doritos. No. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Yo! So wait a minute, you Yo. killed the bag of Doritos that quick? That's crazy. Fucking yeah. Oh, them, them little bags. That's man, crazy. Man, I pop some yawns, man. I bang. I, you can bang like three or four bags before she even wake oh, up. Oh, my gosh. I'm fucking them yawns up, man. Don't play with Lewis. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Cooking them. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. Yeah, man. Next video. Next video. Number four. That's what we got. So, she followed him from the checkout counter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jaleel, you missed and the whole did, lot. Did, yeah, Elba, you missed, you missed Elba. it. <laughs> yeah. Video number four, she followed him from the checkout counter and did this. Peanut. 
Space Fish Storm Podcast. Aww. Let's go. Your big ass head. Back <laughs> I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day, so naturally I followed him to the checkout counter, and when he gave the cashier his credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profiles, and I was able to tell that he was single. So I went through his friends list, and I found his mother's page. And then I looked through his mother's page, and I saw that she was a member of this book club that's in my area. So I sent a request to join the book club. So I went to the book club meeting and I met his mom there and we bonded over some books that we both liked and she just thought I was so nice and I brought it up randomly in conversation that I was single and she let me know that she had a son that was single also that lived in the area and maybe it would be cool for us to get together and chat sometime. So I gave her my number which she gave to her son and this morning he texted me and asked if I'd like to get together this weekend and do something. So I guess we're going to go on a date. I'm really excited. You're going to be asked out if it's not the same son. What if she you got more than one crazy son? crazy bitch. Listen. Let me tell you something. She's going to make sure it was that son. Yeah, but still, I ain't doing all that. That's too much. Mm-mm. No, no, no. You ain't doing all that? No. See, that's exactly why nobody can't find me on no, no kind of search. Because of crazy ass people like this. That's just ridiculous. That's too much. Well, that's some shit that women would do. So it's yeah. I, I don't do Listen. I don't do all that. I ain't doing all that. I'm, I'm on the other that. end of the spectrum. As a man, you like that, bro? And listen, as a man, as much as it takes to uh, get the attention of women these days, and I'm just using this in general, so the women that this doesn't apply to, let it fly. But the, the amount of work it takes to get a woman's attention as a man today, the fact that she <laughs> went through all of that to get the attention of a man that she liked, I ain't gonna lie, I like that. Uh, now, it do, it do seem a little crazy, so again, yeah, I would if never she's doing that now. What makes you think she's not gonna do something I, later? I, I, like number one, that's, I don't. That's just number like one, scary. I didn't know she did that. You see what I'm saying? By the time I, I I text her, I didn't know that she went through all that to find my mom. Blah blah blah. I don't know none of that. So I'm just thinking. So it's what regular. if you found out after the fact that she did all that? It's according to how she is. If she's a good woman, I'm gonna th say you let that slide. Yeah, that's an extra check on on a, on a resume. Like damn. She 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 saw me first before I even knew who she was, and she went through these steps to try to get my attention. I like that. But I suppose she's crazy. Now, mm -hmm. Dennis, girl, you got to go. <laughs> you got to go. Well, hopefully you will let her go before you even find to find all that out. Once you realize, that I would just crazy. see what type of woman she is, and then from there, she got to get going if it's some crazy stuff. Yeah. But I, again, the way the way it is to to court women now and all the stuff that you got to do as a man, I appreciate her putting in that kind of work. Because most women, 95% of women, they ain't doing that. They'll like a man and still be like, well, I'm going to wait for him to say something to me. Let so, him walk right out her yeah. life. So I appreciate it. Right, oh, sorry, right out their life. Well, you know, this, I mean, the crazy women got the best Gucci. <laughs> ain't that what they say? That's what it is. I'm going to have to go with a strong agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just is. I don't know if it's the, the, the juices from the brain it, that <laughs> they just go mm -hmm. down into the, into the, the uh, lower mercy. region, but... <laughs> Yeah. T. T. Yes. Crazy man, he 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 ain't got the best ding. No, he did not. Whoa. At all. Crazy man, don't got the best stroke game. I only had one crazy one, and no, it was not. Stroke game was weak. Yes. Well, he wasn't that crazy. Very much so. He wasn't. That, <laughs> he wasn't that crazy. <laughs> he needed to be had, like. I had to finish Psycho myself War three. off every time. Whoa, whoa, shit! Just you on that dark. Um, <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> she finna just walk and wiped it on her. <laughs> that could have been on you, but you chose you otherwise. Chose otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Put on his lip. Oh, you have her. <laughs> you wake up like. <laughs> Did I eat some food? No, I'll go right in the living room. Because mm -hmm, at that point, he sleep. What? Oh, you give him the courtesy of going in the living room? You know, you no, know, I you know, went in the living room. You were supposed to finish off right what I'm saying. there you, on you the gave bed. The right you went in the living room? Yeah. Oh, no. no. I, remember, I remember one time I got a little little bit more tipsy than I thought, and I kind of fell asleep in that thing. <laughs> Man, I'm asleep. Oh. I, I, fall, I, like, I fall asleep in the thing all the time. I, I'm like, why is my shoulder vibrating? I'm like, <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> she was going ham. Just going ham hey, on that hey, joint. Hey, <laughs> you remember that episode of Mario with Shanae working on the lady feet? Oh my gosh. I got to go to work on her. She was like, hey. I'm like, what the? 
I said, oh, damn, I, I messed up. She was going oh, hard in the paint. Oh, hey, oh. damn, she pulled out. <laughs> She pulled this out the vibrator O five years. She pulled out the Terminator T one thousand on her. That thing had my shoulder. I'm sleeping. Like, what the hell? Damn. She was going hard, and she even looked over, she looked over at me too with the like. Eh. Oh, she, no, she was mad. She was like, yeah. she like, you can't, you can't, you can't say a word to me. I just rolled back over like a hoe. Like, oh, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna act like I was asleep. I ain't gonna. She, if she mentioned it in the morning, I'm like, huh? Oh, no, man. Was, so, what, how did that make you feel, CJ? Listen, the drunk me was just like, I'm gonna take this L. I got home and I was Carl Thomas emotional. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I took an L on this one. Damn. Damn. <laughs> hey, man, listen, sometimes you gotta, you gotta take that L. Oh, man. But me personally? <laughs> I'll get fucked. I got mine. <laughs> I that's got all mine. you care about. <laughs> yeah, that's all that matter. Oh god. So it don't matter that the woman get hers too. It's just about you. You know his slogan. Oh god. Tell, tell him my slogan, bro. Either, What's your slogan? Either come when I come, or you come back. <laughs> or come when I come back. Come when I come. Or yeah, come man. I, come I got back. one in the chamber waiting on. <laughs> yeah, but how long I gotta wait for that one? It, it, if you act right, <laughs> you may get it the same night. Oh, yeah, right! Oh my God! But it, but 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 if you want if you want to act you want to act real bitchy, you may get that thing next week. Oh my God! Oh week! <laughs> oh week! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God! You ain't up in the rotation. See, you know what? I, 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 Damn! I, I, I can wait you about got a day deposits. or two. <laughs> <laughs> you got your D deposit on come through next week. Oh God! Damn. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> let's go to the let's go to the first comment. So first comment was now take this story and imagine it being told by a man. Yeah, mm. he would get stalker charges. Yeah, for real. Yeah. It would. He would get this has to be locked up. I mean T, would he? If a man did those same exact things, he wouldn't be locked would would you, would you think he'd be locked up? Would he be locked up? I don't know. Or you know he get locked up, right? e- either either way, to me, it's like I don't know. I I don't I don't really agree with that. I think that's just a little bit too much because that's just showing me some kind of red flags about you. But you know what? I don't know. You know what? I I'm, think it's, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example. You know, but maybe not even the red, I'm the red it, flags. We're not gonna go away to the red. I'm gonna just say yellow. All right, I'm I'm gonna put it in, into a. Let's put this into a man's perspective. Let's say a man. Oh shit! I see this girl. She looked fine as shit. I want to get to know her. I peep her credit card. I see her name. I go on Facebook, Instagram. And all, well, you Instagram because you know women. Yeah, but they, but <coughs> he peep her father. And they see that her father is part of, of some gun club. He's like, well, mm-hmm. shit, I'm going to join the gun club because I'm going to get next to the pop. So I get next to her. But see, with men, it's different. Because when we, we bond with the other man, we're like, man, fuck the bitch. I'm bonding with your pop, man. Your pop, cool. <laughs> we kicking it. And we fucking old. <laughs> oh, God. Yo. I forgot about your daughter. Damn. So then you. So, to get you. So that basically, you the point you try to make, the point you just try to make is now null and void. Yeah, because men, we, <laughs> we bond different. <laughs> so Damn. forget it. Just forget that whole you, scenario. Your pop, just, cool, you know you got what? More holes. Just, yeah. go, just, yeah. just go yeah, to your comment pop, number two. Yeah, I mean, your pop got me a lot of holes. Uh, just go to comment number two. Just forget it. Just forget yeah. it. Go to comment yeah, number two. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, how can we never ask me out? Because me and your pop is hanging. Yes, sir. Yes, I was looking for you, but we went to this bar. Oh, you turned into but, a whole situation. Look, but at that point, she don't even exist. Yeah. Yeah. Because she never even met her. Yeah. So Hey girl, listen here. Your it's papa Mac. Yeah. Shit. Your papa Mac. We could be cousins now because it's, it's a wrap. Uh, I'm cool. <laughs> that whole situation would be completely turned around, oh boy, if it was a man in a man's shoes. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's go to let's go to comment. Comment number two. Comment number two. Comment number two. Comment number two says. Could have just said hello to him at the store like a normal person, just a thought. But again, as a person who is an introvert, I, that's why I, I like her approach. Because okay. everybody's not, everybody doesn't have the personality to reach out to somebody that they don't know. That could be very anxious and you yeah. nervous, you don't know what to say, you do. And then you come off like a weirdo and you mess it up. So it's like she probably knows that's one of her areas of improvement. I don't like to use the word weakness, so that's an area of improvement. Her, I, she's not good at face to face conference, uh, uh, face to face, not conference, just straight, just straight approach. Yeah, approach. So she used something that worked in her favor, 
So again, I, as a person who is an introvert, I understand that she, as long as she's not a cuckoo bird, then it, it'll never, it'll never come into existence that, oh, the way she did it. I, I like the way she did that. So it, it, it's just preference. And it's all about how you see it. If you see yeah. it as, if you see it pessimistically, then yeah, it's going it's to look crazy. But if you just think of it like, damn, I'm not she took looking an at it in a pessimistic way. I mean, I just in terms of the my perception of it, I just it just I don't know. In my perception of it, could be just a little taunt tainted because of my that's history just, history you, of stalkers. So that's it is so, pessimistic because of your trauma. That's why it's pessimistic because you just have trauma. So it's understandable. But it's again, if another person looks at it optimistically, like look at all she did to get my attention. Like so, imagine her in a relationship. If she could go on my look at my credit card in the store, imagine when I'm talking to the fellas and I say, "Yeah, you know, I like X, Y, and Z." Look, she imagine ain't even, how, I ain't even got to worry about her. Imagine how slick she is looking at the phone. <laughs> Again, pessimistic. <laughs> if I'm looking at the optimistic way, she might hear something about me or something that I like. And then she just mm -hmm. come up with it. I'm like, damn, how she do that? Because she was listening. Right. Oh, all right, cool. I'm a, I'm a figure out how to help. So we're saying, I see that a little bit. She was attentive, very attentive. Okay. She saw something that she liked, and she figured out a way to get at it in her own way without making herself look awkward, making herself look desperate. Because maybe she approaches him, and now she like, hey, how you doing? Oh my god, you so cute. Can I get your number? He like, well, damn, you look crazy. So she figured out a way to do it herself. And it worked for her. I mean, I, I, I feel that. You feel that? You rocking with it? Yeah. So, look, comment number three. This girl gave the man two choices. One, you're going to be with me. Or two, <laughs> I'm going to be with you. <laughs> Either it's going to work yeah. or it's going to work. <laughs> yeah, man. Either I'm leaving you with no option. Oh, gosh. You know, look, I'm going to make sure your mama love me. Yeah, you know, I, I, I ain't going to lie. I got to give the butt. Like I said, if he, if she turns out to be crazy, you'd be like, "Oh, you one crazy bitch." But if it turned out to work, all right, be like, "Oh, I shit. wonder, I wonder what something like that does she ever tell him? Like in the in the future, like look, yeah, when know, they get married, like I'm sure know, when they get I, married, I, 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 tell wanna, I got something to tell you. I got a, I got a secret to tell you. Like, uh, I actually kind of saw you in the store and I, you know, searched you up and how you like, think all Lifetime movies got created? <laughs> Stories like this. So again, think about yeah. think about how many women you meet on the regular that are crazy well you know what? it can happen in anything like i just yeah, think it, it, it wasn't it, it was it, it can, innovative and, and the reason it can't because look something like this happened to me i i went to i was going to my doctor's office and the nurse what was it nurse was, the, the the chick that works behind the, the, uh, 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 the receptionist yeah, i don't know what they call them but she wound up getting taking my phone number from my my chart and called me and was like, listen, I'm sorry, I don't know what we did. I'm like, all right, well, you know, cool. But we taught him, and we wound up kicking it for a while. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, Freaky ass, Joe. I blew that back out, boy. And that's what she I'm was a saying. Squirter, it's too. all about. It's all about. The, it's all. Ooh, she was a boy. He said she was wait, a squirter. Wait, 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 he said one of my keywords. He, he, he said, he said, run that back. Wait. My brain went he right said, off. Wait, run what? That back. <laughs> Yeah, Look, my, you just said his word. That's my third favorite word in the dictionary. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you know I mean? yeah, but but I didn't I didn't look at it as you know she was crazy. Now I looked at it well, shit. I mean, that was the one who know what she was. That's what I'm. That's again when I say as a. That's why most women probably don't understand this because they don't do any hunting. They don't. They don't have. To, they don't have to do that. So again, as a man. And you out here in the marketplace and you meeting different women and you see like, I got to do all this for this woman. I got to do all that for this woman. This woman is requiring me to do this just to show them that I, I, I'm i interested in them and for them mm. to reciprocate it. I have to do all this. This woman was already interested and just went about it an intricate way. It's all about how you see it. Because again, you meet women all the time and you have regular conversation with them and right. they can be stone cold crazy. And it's like, well, mm -hmm. damn, I met her. She was cool. It's just how she went about it. It's all about the follow up action. I don't really give uh, I don't really judge people off their first action. OK, you did that. But let me see how you follow it up. If you following mm -hmm. it up as a regular person, then again, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Like, damn, I appreciate that you went through all that to get to know who I am. That's decent. Now, again, if you are crazy, then it's like, damn, I see why you crazy. See how you started off. It makes sense. But <laughs> yeah. It's all about how you look at it. And I think that again because a lot of us have been through a lot of trauma and we're not healed from it we're gonna we're gonna more than more than likely look at it from the pessimistic state that's why dating right now for 
anybody 30 and over that's why dating is so messed up because everybody's going into it with their history oh yeah because you men ain't asked because this man you know that i mess with 13 guys and they oh, yeah you going into it with the stuff that you that happened to you in the past so of course yeah, you're, you're going to look at it trauma. pessimistically mm -hmm. that's what that's why it's all the dating scene is all messed up yeah so make sure you drop a like drop a comment and tell us what you think god damn it tell these yeah, guys yeah, stop yeah. being whores and maybe we won't have the traumas next Wait. video t come in, let's hear it in spanish <laughs> really you, uh, really yeah you're supposed to be ready what number, number five. five what is it oh you said tell you the next video in yeah spanish. the number oh, really? i didn't know you was talking about that says sis what are we going to do? Oh, no, no, Cinco, it's Cinco. Wrong, okay. it was wrong. You don't get to do the test over once you pass <laughs> it, turn it in. Cinco, Cinco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cinco. What are we going to do with our ah. video number Cinco? Number Cinco. Yeah. Cinco, Cinco. Cinco. See, this is six. I'm the sorry. The viral sensation, the Hawk Tour. Ooh. I fucked with this little white girl. I fucked with The Hawk Tour was forced to resign. Now, so, see. yeah, let's react to the reaction. Credit it, Mommy three loves hawk to you know what hawk toy is what's to find tour? out you about to find out t fuck around to find out t, have you ever hawk to oh no you a goddamn lie hey i ain't telling you all my business i found out <laughs> this show <laughs> <after dark. laughs> peanut it's this jump podcast oh let's go did y'all hear about this lady done got fired? I think she like a kindergarten teacher for what she said in Nashville on a girl's trip. Baby, I had to find this video. Baby, hold on. Let me play the clip real quick. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you gotta give that to it. that So I ran across this uh, Facebook post about the situation. This is my first time. I never saw this video a day in my life. I didn't, I, I ain't know nothing about it. So I'm like, okay, why she get fired? Baby, Miss Wellington, 23, got the parents mad, baby. And baby, I ain't no new reporter, so y'all gonna have to pause to read it. I'm gonna show y'all another part too, but I'm gonna move my head out of the way. Pause to read. But anyway, I'm gonna sum it up. The people at the school, the staff members, and the parents are saying that from this video that they saw on YouTube, said the kids end up seeing it on YouTube. I'm trying to figure out how them preschool how the preschools end up seeing this on YouTube, that's another story. But they saying that the kids are spitting on each other. And the kids are saying, spit on that thing. And the parents is mad because they don't want their kids saying, spit on that thing. But is this worth getting fired? So the people said that they reached out to Miss Welton and she said she is livid, bitch. She said she ain't got nothing to do with She said that's her personal time. She said she ain't telling them the hot to spit on that thing at school. So she don't feel like she need to be fired, baby. Baby, Miss Welton, she is doing a fundraiser Saturday, tomorrow. I think it's going to be tomorrow at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Baby, I might go out there. If she got a shirt that says spit on that thing, I might end up going if I was in the area. <laughs> but how do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like Miss Wilson needs to be fired for this? Like she, she was forced to resign. I ain't gonna say fired. She was forced to resign from her position because of what these kids, what these parents Parents decide. I, I feel like. Yeah, let me. First of all, what, how did the Miss Beef? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before, before I let y'all say that, I, my family from Kentucky and the hills of West Virginia. Man, nothing turned me on better than a woman with a southern accent. Ooh, boy, that, is, doing my that is fire. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. That is fire. Miss Valentine. What, Daddy? Spit on that thing. Spit on that thing. Spit on that thing. Spit on that thing. I'm trying to say, boy, I went with them something. Action. Good Ooh. golly, Miss Molly. Wait, boy. I'm like, girl, keep talking. <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> so she's like, little, I'm about to spit on that thing. Spit on that thing. Spit on Ooh. it, goddamn. <laughs> Listen, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even like that. That is ill to me. But if she talking like that, spit on that thing, girl, I'll listen. I'm going to try it. Let's, let's try it. Let's, let's, let's see what the outcome going to be. Unless she got me in here with the accent. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But I digress. Go ahead. T, digress. what do you got to say, T? No, 
no, go ahead. CJ was already talking. Listen. Listen. Number one, I got three points. Number one, that is her personal time. Yeah. So I don't think Agreed. she should be fired for that. Mm-hmm. She was she was not on company time, company grounds, none of that. She was an adult having a conversation with someone else. That's number one. Number two, if you are a parent, your kids should never get to see uh, yeah, w- that viral yeah. moment because right. you should be uh, watching what they're uh, consuming. Why the fuck is he on you? Why? Why? She, they, elementary kids they on said YouTube. She took kindergarten. That's oh five Lord, years that's old. Me. Yeah, yeah but, and they have these YouTube, uh, these separate like they have YouTube, YouTube kids. kids. YouTube kids. Yeah. Yeah. So that would have never showed up in YouTube right. kids algorithm ever. So again, if you're being a parent. And that, that you shouldn't, your kids shouldn't even know what that's about. That's See, number two. That goes back to that other video. That guy said he said these parents that's disciplined. Hell no! Some of these parents ain't. If your child saw that dag on video, especially that young. And then number three, <laughs> Miss Wellington, <laughs> if you got a website with them shirts on there, spit on that thing. Let me know. Send it over. To this, send it over to Dish <laughs> Jump because yeah. um yeah we we, we want to support yeah okay I I think spit on my thing spit on mm. that thing right right girl. spit on my thing I mean I I take a hawk too. I take that one too <laughs> let me get both of them see, too. y'all can wear the ones that say spit on that thing and and no, I spit on my one. thing see you I'll, say spit on that no, thing no 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 I'm gonna wear the one that says sit on that thing oh my yeah, lord that's okay, what I'm gonna have to work that, that out with her all right. <laughs> don't get don't get sued for infringement so work that. Out with her, <laughs> keep it no, moving. no, because sit and spit are two different things. I know, but it, you hey, know. the actions are totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, but you still gotta get that hawk to her. <laughs> because when you going in it, no, like, let when me you tell going you in it, let sometimes you, you gotta you gotta if, step if out. You, if you dealing Hulk with a real her. woman that that, that that don't need to spit, hey, oh, the, the, the natural sh- juices just flow. Sh- yeah. Hey. This yeah. one dark, dark, <laughs> dark, dark, dark. So let's go to the first comment. So the first comment says, so fire the teacher because the parents let their kids watch YouTube. Come, on, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Like I said, if you watching your children and you're watching what they watch, because think about it, that's a viral video. So that means it's going to play a lot. There's no mm-hmm. way in the world that if I'm a parent supervising my children that I'm not going to hear that. I'm going to be like, wait, what the hell? Oh, no, y'all got to turn this off. Well, you know what? Let me say this because I've, I've always said, I mean, I've, I don't say where I work at because a lot of motherfuckers be doxing. But a lot of these parents now, now I want to say these young parents, they let the phones and the tablets raise their children. Yep. Because they will give them the phones and tablets just to keep the, quote, just unquote, to keep to the shut kid quiet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, instead yep. of just raising your child. Exactly. But you know what the other thing is, is from the corporate, if we, since we talk about work and everything, from the corporate aspect in terms of what I deal with on the daily, sometimes you have some employers that have, unfortunately, social media policies. That might be, you know, be against their social media policy if she signed something with the job. So, I mean, sometimes it's sad enough to say is like you got to really monitor and be careful what you put on your social media. And if it goes but, against but, your but, job, but you know they what can discipline you. But you know, it wasn't on. It was a rent. She got stopped with a random you know how, they, how they do yeah. the, the, in the street, inter, the street right. interviews. It was a random street interview. They asked her the question. And she was like, yeah, it wasn't her social media. Yeah, it was. Been a, yeah, but it they'll just blew define up. it like. You know, I mean, which is, I mean, because to me, it's like, what if I'm sitting on my porch and, you know, somebody just filming just the neighborhood or something. And, I, and that just happened to be exchanged between me and a friend. Like, you gonna fire me over that, too? Because it's like I'm here talking to somebody I personally know. And it just so happened to get videoed like videotaped. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I'm, I don't know about that. Look, T.Y., she said she said, hell no. Uh, we have to be more mindful due to our careers. However, these kids finding these videos. He said they've been new about spitting on these, uh, on these. <laughs> not at four, not five years old. Hey, 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 she you said never she know. She took kindergarten. <laughs> Spit on that man. <laughs> Spit on that man. <laughs> it's beef welling. <laughs> so, so let's go to the next video. Parents will do everything but parent. God damn, that Come is right there. Now. That is right there. I see it. I see it all the time. Man. That is right there. And I'll be saying, like, at the end of the day, the hardest job in the world ever is being a parent because you have to consistently do it and i right. see it 
on the regular. I see people let their kids be on a tablet for four thousand hours. Yeah. I see. I see people that let their kids just in and out. They go in and out the refrigerator, the house, the this, the that. They ain't got no discipline, Ain't no structure, no nothing. Hands, These no kids nothing. be, they be. And you gotta realize and understand is like you doing that now as they young. Imagine how they are once they. You can't tell teenagers. them that once they get a teenager. It's too late. Mm-hmm. My cousin was the same too way. Late. She could do anything in my aunt house, anything. And guess what? She got a teenager. Start feeling herself. She damn near about to fight my aunt because she felt like, hey. I've been doing this for a while. No right. accountability, they no they discipline, to it no at nothing. That point. Entitlement every day. Yeah. Every day. Entitled at that point. Yeah. So, last comment. So she got fired on her day off. Dang, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you laughing. You uh, you terrible, man. Give Miss Wellington her damn job back. Oh, God. It was just funny. Like, look, they had to pull Friday out on that one. Like, yeah. damn, why you hey, get fired look, on your you day know, off? You know that was a black man problem. <laughs> <laughs> they better give Miss Wellington her why job back. I'm looking right in the camera. Why you give her her job back. Oh, nah, gosh. But, I mean, now, I'd, I'd read, so... In the comment, El Boogie said that she should shoot, which, which I, I would. do believe. Yeah. She is looking to sue the, uh, that school district. Good. And she'll probably win. Yeah. Unless it's a, what 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 they call a uh, no fault state? What, what is it called? Uh, at, well, um, at will. Yeah, at will. Yeah. At will state. So, you know, in Pennsylvania, right. you can't yes. sue because we're at will state. Facts. Now, they'll fire you any fucking thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, did you fart in my face? <laughs> Fire that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> this your podcast. Listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Damn. Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>